Welcome to uh, week number one of Dreadnoughts Month Theme 2, Theme Month 2, as today we will be looking at Sartan's brother, Sandor. But before we get to Sandor's figure, let's take a shout out to, uh, back to the media on 41 South Bowden Street in, here in Winchester, Virginia. There's their uh, business card. We get uh, video games, music, movies, toys, vintage stuff, vintage comics, anything for your uh, your uh, special world you got going on in your special universe. So let's take a look at Sartan or Sandar by starting his uh, file card. It says code name Sandar Dreadnought. Name Zachary. Real last name unknown. First place, believed to be somewhere in Florida. Primary weapon is a rifle, combat gears, pistol, and a knife. As a Sandor is the master of cam camouflage and covert movement. In other words, he's good at hiding and sneaking up on people. And, of course, he doesn't behave this way to do anything good for his target. Like his brother Sartan, he can disguise himself as anyone. He is also an expert with silent weapons and can remain motionless for a long period of time. And uh, just take a look at his accessories. He comes with the power crossbow, which looks familiar because this is actually the power crossbow that's similar to uh, to the Night Creeper Ninja from the um, Attack of Cobra Island 7-pack. He also comes with comes with a knife, gold handle, silver plate, silver uh, uh, blade. He also comes with this little, this little pistol, silver pistol, grayish pistol, and he also comes with this double harpoon laser sci-fi rifle thingy, which actually, ironically, comes in gold and silver, but it also comes in black with the two-pack of Rise of Cobra Monkey Wrench. As well as in black with the Cobra Eel, 25th anniversary Eel. Uh, so let's take a look at our uh, monthly dreadnought guy, Sandar. Starting with his hair, well, bright orange hair with a blue bandana. It's like all oh, scraggly looking hair. Uh, pink kerchief, blue holster, blue gun holster where you can hold the pistol, blue shoulder pads on each side. And you got the uh, red lightning, looks like lightning uh, tattoos on his uh, abdomen and chest. Comes out with like a yellow band kind of uh, pad. He's also got the green or the, the brown brown uh, brown gloves with a yellow band around the around the side, which is on both uh, both both hands. And he's got gray trousers with a green with a with a brown sleeve with a knife attached a knife in it which is not removable and attached with green a green uh green straps around the leg gold knee pads down to brown combat looking boots with looks like got little gold plates inside of it somewhere little shin pads and uh calf pads. So let's take a look at the articulation of Sandor. His head can swivel 360 degrees. His arm can raise to about there. Swivel 360 all the way around. Bends at the elbow. Swivels at the elbow. And uh, swivels at the wrist. It has modern figures, as you can see, the uh, gun holster is removable. But he uh, he has the uh, ab crunch feature. His legs can uh, spread about so far as hindered on the one leg, on the on the right leg because of the knife. His left leg goes farther out. It is laid to about there, like most uh, modern era figures, double knee joint. Rocker at the anchor, ankle, as well as swivel at the ankle. 
and that's uh, the articulation of Sandar. So let's see our Sandar all set up in battle gear. Right here, Sandar, Sandar are ge all geared up. As you saw, he's just no really place to put that knife, which goes into my uh, previous comments and previous videos, as well as ACC's comments of too many accessories does not make better accessories. But, you know, it kind of works for Sandar. And uh, Sandar's first comic book appearance was in issue number 51 of the uh, vintage Marvel comic run. His first uh, animated appearance was in the five-part miniseries of the Sunbow Animated Arise, uh, Serpento Arise Part 1. As far as Sandor, my concern, he's like the uh, least talked about in the Sartan family, so to speak. He's kind of the uh, behind-the-scenes kind of guy. Like the background dreadnought, or kind of like background brother to him and Zoran, to Sartan and Zorana. But, um... Uh, I would rank Sartan as, or, or that's Sartan, but Sandar as middle tier figure because of the lack of usage that his character got in all, in the, uh, all forms of G.I. Joe media. Um, and uh, I'd like to thank everybody for watching, but before I do, uh, you can check out the vintage reviews on um, of Sar uh, Sandar on ACC 788's channel and 4MBX 257's channel. And uh, 4 bx 257 does both uh, Sandor and uh, Sarana at the same time. Uh, but uh, for modern re reviews, you can see Sanitarium Productions, SW, Sed, Kazuko, Kazuku, and JTrain 997, and others. So uh, thanks everybody for watching, and uh, tune in next week for Dreadnought Month number two, week two, as we review. Sartan's sister, <coughs> Sartan and Sandar's sister, uh, Sarana. Uh, so tune in next week. I hope you all have a good week. Sorry this video came up late because I just got out of the hospital today. Or, well, this video will be posted the day after I got up, out, got out of the hospital. So uh, thank you all for y'all's well wishes. See y'all uh, this weekend as I do uh, Sarana. So y'all have a good evening and have a good week.